Uh, today we're going to talk about unveiling the unseen, and in this case the unseen is our galaxy, the Milky Way, it's our, our local neighborhood. And uh, there we go. If we could look at our galaxy face on, it would look something like this, we think. Uh, however, to get that picture has been a very long and torturous route, and I'll tell you why. Uh, if we uh, place our sun at the center of that blue uh, small circle, that circle represents about the area of the galaxy, the disk of our galaxy, that uh, we can see at optical light like your eye is sensitive to. And you see that most of the galaxy is actually not observable at all. Uh, and so how do, we, how do we determine what the uh, galaxy, what the shape of the galaxy is, what its structure is, uh, and um, uh, what the contents are, what, what's in our galaxy? Uh, well, the way we do that is to uh, look at different wavelengths of light. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to run through very quickly a, a several pictures of the same piece of sky starting at visible light and progressively uh, moving up to longer wavelengths. And we do this, this is a visible picture of, of a piece of sky. If we go up to the uh, very near infrared, so longer wavelength, about a factor of two in wavelength, uh, it looks somewhat similar, although you begin to see a little bit of fuzz there in the center of the picture. If we go to uh, a, a little bit longer wavelength yet, uh, you see a little bit more fuzz and you begin to see some little uh, star clusters in there. And if we go to a longer wavelength yet, you begin to see a good deal more uh, diffuse emission there and uh, more stars. These are young stars that are just in the process of forming. Now we go to uh, a, about a factor of, uh, well, 50% more and longer in wavelength, and suddenly we begin to see a lot of interesting structure there. This is all due to dust that's either reflecting and, and radiating light away. And if we go to a little longer wavelength yet, we see more of this. And we go to a longer wavelength yet at almost six microns, which is in the uh, mid-infrared, and we see a very interesting structure here. All this is due to, uh, to it's not gas, it's dust. And it's dust that's, that's doing a lot of interesting things. And out to eight microns, and we see a beautiful picture. Now we put them all together, and uh, we uh, see something like this. So suddenly we see structure that we've never seen before. Visibly, you saw nothing there, right? And um, so now I'm going to show you, we've just finished a large survey of the disk of our galaxy in the infrared. It's called the GLIMP survey. And um, if I can close this down, I'm going to take you to a website where this, all the data has been uh, uh, put on the web. So anybody can go to this site. This is it. And um, I'm going to just pick out a few interesting things here. Here's a little piece of sky. There's a supernova there. A supernova is a star that is actually blown up. And I'm going to move now and add to this, this is a, the near infrared out to eight microns. I'm going to add 24 microns, which is three times longer wavelength. And uh, I'll do that just by sliding this little arrow over here. And suddenly, what do you see? You see this nice, beautiful nebula that was completely invisible, even at eight microns. But at 24 microns, suddenly you see that. So there's a lot of very interesting um, features here that uh, here's a, uh, cluster of stars, and uh, at, uh, with 24 microns added in, it looks like that. If we go to eight microns, you see this beautiful cluster. And um, here's a fossil, a, a star cluster that was formed when our galaxy was formed. Uh, and you won't see, this cluster would be the brightest cluster of stars in the whole galaxy as seen from the Earth, except for the fact that it's obscured by uh, lots of, of dust, and so it's completely invisible uh, in the, um, at optical wavelengths. What did I do here? I just uh, blew myself away, I think. Okay. So uh, there you, you hardly see it at all, but you do uh, 
see it in here. Okay, well, anyway, uh, with this, with the, with this uh, web tool, you can actually go into this survey and uh, look at all kinds of interesting things. You can go into a place and zoom in. I didn't show you how to zoom in on it, so you can zoom in and do all kinds of very interesting things. So the, this is the galaxy revealed. It's an entirely new view of our galaxy that we had no idea of the detail and beautiful structure in there uh, and because we have these new tools. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>